What's up, Marker Heads? It's Karen from Art by Karity Haley. So, today is Friday. It's also the 31st, which happens to be my baby's due date. Um, but unless I am having him in the next five and a half hours, that's not gonna happen. Anyway, right now, I'm gonna be showing you guys this video. Um, these characters are Pokemon Gajinka characters, which... If you don't know what a Gajinka is, it's basically a humanized um, creature, in this case a Pokemon. Uh, these characters um, were made for a, a role-playing group on DeviantArt called Pokes of the Caribbean. So basically it's like Pirates of the Caribbean with humanized Pokemon. And um, different members of the group create these Pokemon and they... Um, kind of like create little stories with each other based upon the character's personality and what's going on in the, in the group as a whole, I suppose. Um, I didn't really, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it. These characters are done for Fox Crazy and Blue Moons. Um, so I'm not a member, I just, I'm just trying to explain what the characters are and uh, who they are and, <laughs> and kind of what's going on in the picture. So um, I did a trade for Pokemon cards I believe. I can't remember if it was cards or art but I think it was Pokemon cards for this drawing um, with Fox Crazy who is a DeviantArt user. The characters are Fox Crazy's character Manuel who is the Gallade Gajinka and uh, I'm not working on that character in the, at the moment in this video. Um, and then they wanted uh, their character's girlfriend, I think their boyfriend, girlfriend, I don't know if they're married or whatever, but um, their significant other. <laughs> anyway, um, they wanted their character's significant other to be in the picture with them. And... Uh, um, that character is Eleanor, who is the Tengrowth Gajinka, and she belongs to Bloomins, and I think her hair is just super awesome. It's like, it's, um, since she's a Tengrowth, she has this gorgeous, uh, mess of green dread vines, and I just thought they were so awesome, and, um, so I put a lot of detail into her hair, and I think that the main reason why I chose a pose of them lying on the beach was because I wanted to really emphasize her hair and uh, just go crazy with it because it was just so long and, and um, it would be fun to kind of try out dreadlocks because I haven't really ever done dreadlocks before. Uh, and I don't even know if they're really dreadlocks. I think they're technically vines, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, so that was a pretty fun part of this drawing, and uh, I think that this picture turned out really well, especially um, when it comes to her hair. Um, and uh, the only thing that I really had a tough time doing in this picture was coloring these characters' skin colors, because their skin colors are the same as the Pokemon they're based off of. So, like, she's kind of like a dark grayish blue color, and Manuel is like bright blue and white. <laughs> so, that was kind of a challenge for me. And also, he has, Manuel has the, I don't know what they're called, horns, I guess, that Gallade has on his head and chest. So, those were kind of hard for me to incorporate into a humanized character. Um, but I think that they turned out all right. And uh, another thing that's kind of confusing about this picture that I would change if I could is I don't really know how I'm supposed to look at this picture. Like, I guess you could turn it any way and it would technically be the right way to look at it. But personally, I put it so that it's in a portrait a uh, portrait layout with her on the bottom so you can kind of see her hair and uh, I think that it just looks the best 
turned that way, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, but that's definitely something I would probably change if I were sketching this again. Ew, I think I'm wearing my robe in this picture, in this video. <laughs> I was probably cold, um, and I don't like to wear a jacket in the house, so I usually opt for my my robe instead, but that robe is so old, it has like a burn mark on it from when I was cooking, when I was wearing it and stuff. So it looks kind of ratty. <laughs> um, so whatever. Um, but anyway, I don't really have a whole lot more to talk about about this picture right now because it's, I've already talked about everything that gets colored. So what I want to talk about now is, um, on my Facebook page, I'm doing a poll to see what you guys want me to draw in the month of July. <laughs> I think it's July. Yeah, I wrote down July. Um, so in July I'll be uh, more active um, because I'm sure I'll be more used to being a parent by then and uh, I'll be able to figure out more of a more of a routine and um, so I will be doing pictures in July again. Um, I'm going to be taking a poll on my Facebook. I already said this, but go over there and vote. You'll be voting on which series I will be doing a character from. Um, and the vote ends on June 15th. So go ahead and vote. And when that vote ends, I'll start a new vote based upon which series wins. So like, let's say Legend of Zelda wins, which right now it's in the lead. Um, if uh, that wins, then we'll be voting like on whether I should draw Link or Zelda or, or Soraya or Saria, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, or any of the, you know, any character from Legend of Zelda. But that's just an example because I have a lot of other things on the poll, like Adventure Time. Um, Pikmin is one that I really kind of want to win, but it doesn't seem like everyone's going to be voting for Pikmin. Um, and, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff on there, and if you have suggestions, head on over there and leave a suggestion. Um, head on over there and vote. You can vote as many times as you want. Like, you can vote on as many different topics as you want. I think you can only vote on one topic once, but I don't know. I'm getting all scatterbrained, and I'm probably confusing you now. Anyway, visit my Facebook, and uh, stay tuned for the next part. Talk to you guys later. Bye.